So I've been using Teton order routing with Sierra chart for like the past seven months compared to CQG and Rhythmic, which is the other data providers that I use. Teton to me personally has been faster, noticeably faster, not some, not anything crazy, but I do typically get better feels or quicker feels with Teton, right? That's the general case. Sometimes that's not always the case, but a lot of times, like I tested it side by side and I have been getting quicker feels most of the time, right? So in this video, I want to talk about getting started with, with Teton and also how to connect it. And shout out to Pedro for the comment that, that you left, which sparked the thought to create this video. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you're going to need is a broker that supports the Teton order routing. Okay. Now I personally use edge clear, but if you want a full list of other brokers that are available that uses uh, Teton, you can go to Sierra charts page here. I'm going to leave the link in the description below, but if you want a full list of brokers that Sierra chart recommends, you can go to this page here and you can see the full list here. The question that sparked this video did mention AMP Futures. Now I have an AMP account and at the time that I made the original video, I reached out to them and they said they were not supporting Teton at that time. However, I have recently heard that they may be supporting it. I haven't confirmed that to be true or not. They did say that they're going to send out an email when they are going to start supporting Teton order routing. I haven't received that email, but I have heard through other, you know, other means that it may be available now, right? So just reach out to them to see if they're supporting it now and you know, you'll be good to go there, right? If not, like I said, I use Edge Clear, and if you're interested in Edge Clear, I do have a partnership with Edge Clear. You can just go to this page right here, edgeclear.com forward slash mv3 dash trader. And the benefit of going through this link or going through my partnership with Edge Clear is that you will get cheaper commissions versus if you just signed up directly with them, right? So you can use this. You can, if you're interested in Edge Clear, you can use the links on this page, or you can also reach out to our point of contact will be John Carlo. You can reach out to him at Edge Clear. If you need his contact information, just reach out to me, and I'd be more than happy to, to share it with you. Um, the best ways to reach out to me is through Discord, and sometimes email. Not so much email because I can kind of get busy and not check my emails, but if you need that information, you can go ahead. If you got more questions about Edge Clear, like how much capital you'll need for your initial deposit and the margin requirements and all of that stuff, depending on whatever you're doing, you know, they have several options over there, depending on your personal situation. So you can just reach out to them and they'll point you in the right direction for whatever it is that you're trying to do. Right. So that's another option. And then of course you have all of these other options here which I don't have any experience with, so I'm not going to talk about that. All right, so what you'll also need is you'll also need a data feed, right? Since you're using Sierra chart, you're going to also be using the Denali data feed, exchange data feed, and you'll just go to this page right here. You can see all of the different options that you have. Personally, I have the CME with market depth for non-professional trading accounts. That works for my personal plan. And, you know, so you'll just need to pick one of these. Once you're setting up your account on Sierra chart, It'll lay everything out that you need to do to set all of this stuff up. You'll go to account management. And once you've created an account, you just go to uh, your account control panel and then everything you need to do, it'll be there. I don't want to click on all that. So I have to worry about hiding all my personal information and it takes longer to edit it and all that stuff. So that's pretty straightforward, right? It's not that complicated how to get started and how to set up an account with Sierra chart, but you'll do that, right? So that's all you're going to need to start trading. You just need your brokerage account that supports Teton order routing, and you will need the Denali exchange data feed, right? And of course you will need a package. So you're going to pick whatever package that you want and you have a nice little breakdown of the different packages here. So since this is Sierra charts product, you will just pick whatever package that you want. It'll work with all of these packages. So once you get all of that set up, one other thing that you will have to go through and your broker will know how to do this, right? But one thing that you will have to do is let them know what your Sierra chart account name is. That way they can link the account that you have with them with Teton. And then 
that's when you'll be able to connect to a Sierra chart and have everything work, right? So let's talk about connecting your Sierra chart to the Teton order routing. So inside of Sierra chart, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect, right? And then you'll just go to file, then you'll go to data trade service settings. And inside of here, in this drop down, you'll just click on Teton CME order routing. You click on that, you'll go ahead and click A. So whatever clearing firm that you pick with your broker, then that's the one that you will pick right here. So you'll pick your clearing firm, click on A, and then hit OK. And then you'll go ahead and connect. As long as your broker made the uh, connection on their end and you got your Denali data and all that stuff set up, you can, again, once you go into your account settings inside of Sierra chart on, on their web page, everything that you need should be green checked. If you have anything that you didn't do, you'll have a notice at the top of the page, at the top of your account control panel. You'll have notices at the top of the page of what you need to do. And as long as all that stuff is taken care of, you should be able to connect with no problem. Now, like I said, I haven't had any issues with Teton up to this point and since I've been using it like late uh, 2022. I think I opened my account in November of 2022. I haven't had any issues. Most of the time I get, you know, faster fields and I use a copy trade system that you can check out in this video here. So let's say if I'm trying to take a trade, if I'm trying to take a trade long, when I press the button to enter trade long, it hits the buy button on all of the trade windows. And typically that's not the first window that the copier clicks the buy button on, right? Usually it'll start with one of my rhythmic accounts and then it'll go to my Teton account. But even with all that being said, I typically do get faster fields, right? So there's that. And then I don't really, I haven't really had any like connection issues or any problems with logging in. Now there was an issue recently that kind of sent out some false errors when I opened up the platform. It turned out that somebody somewhere had cut some fibers that were related to the connections that Sierra chart uses. But I'm, the point that I'm making here is if you do have issues and you can't log in, one thing that you can do is you can check the server status for, for Teton and it's real simple. If you want to do that, all you got to do is go to Google. What I did was I went to Google and I just typed in Teton order routing server status, right? And with that, what came up with this notice here, Sierra chart was already aware of it. And they sent out this notice through their support board of what was going on. It wasn't really causing any issues. It was causing, it may be slowing down the data a bit, but you can still connect. You're, you were still getting your data. I was still getting my data. It was just giving this weird error. So if you're getting a weird error or you're it's kind of slow or whatever, all you gotta do is go to Google. Once again, you can type in that Teton order routing server status. And if nothing comes up here, just reach out to Sierra chart through the support board and they will be more than happy because it's their product. They will be more than happy to, you know, assist you with any issues that you have with their product, right? It's usually other people's product that they don't really care to try to give a bunch of assistance to, but their products, they will do everything they can to help you with their products, right? So that's really it. That's all there is to it. If you have any more questions, you know, you can just leave those in the comment section below. If you found this helpful, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so, because I'm really focusing on Sierra chart now. And if you want to get notified when I put more Sierra chart stuff in, liking and subscribing and all that stuff will make sure that my new videos get put into your YouTube feed when I post something new, right? Also, if you leave your questions in the comments, if it requires me to make a video, which my preferred method is to make a video to answer your question. So it may take me a, a while to answer your question. That's just because I like to make the video if it needs it. Like if it really, if it's something real simple, then I just go ahead and answer it via text. But I like to make a video on, on your questions so that, you know, I, I think they're more helpful, right? So just leave those in the, in whatever questions you have in the comment section below. And I will, you know, more than likely make a video about it. Other than that, that's all I got for this one. Trade it easy.